PM told the army, the general told the men Colonels told officers, the mayor asked when The captains told sergeants, sergeants to the troops Soldiers picked the weapons and they jumped to the hoops PM praised the army, the general said thanks Then the colonel gave medals and the mayor filled ranks Captains thanked sergeants, said our men were brave Arranging the funeral, the soldiers lined the grave History repeats, victor's defeat Inevitable, perishable flies onto me Warfare is morphing, reported as forces that seep in your mind then leak from your forehead Ideas that you find that are changing the mind is what I'm seeing chance for designed And if it is designed and designed by who? War is always coming and the forces are too Villainous or righteous, my side pure, sure their side spineless Blood sucking lysis, cut them dice them, that's when the vices Test our prices and run for your lies as the ice is what hearts are when they despise It's animal instinct but once it arrives it's master to mind and that is when Martyrs and mind and that is when Man told the army then man told men Man briefed the officers and man asked when Man told man and then man told troops Men pick weapons, men jump through the hoops Man praised the army and man said thanks Man gave medals and man filled ranks Man thanked man and said that men were brave Man arranged the funerals, we all filled the graves And for what? Just observe the nation that is defended by devoted patriots. The patriots fall in bloody battle or in the fight with hunger and want. What does the nation care for that? By the manure of their corpses the nation comes to its bloom. The individuals have died for the great cause of the nation. And the nation sends them some words of thanks after them and has the profit of it. I call that a paying kind of egoism. But now only look at that sultan who cares so lovingly for his people. Is he not pure unselfishness himself? And does he not hourly sacrifice himself for his people? Oh yes, for his people. Just try it. Show yourself not as his, but as your own. For breaking away from his egoism, you will be sent to jail. The sultan has set his cause on nothing but himself. He is to himself all in all, he is to himself the only one and tolerates nobody who would dare not be one of his people. And will you not learn by these brilliant examples that the egoist gets on best? I, for my part, take a lesson from them and propose instead of further unselfishly serving those great egoists, rather to be the egoist myself. God and man have concerned themselves for nothing, for nothing but themselves. Let me then, likewise, concern myself for myself, who am equally with God, the nothing of all others, who am my all, who am the only one, der Einzige. If God, if mankind, as you affirm, have substance enough in themselves to be all in all to themselves, then I feel that I shall still less lack that, and that I shall have no complaint to make of my quote-unquote emptiness. I am nothing in the sense of emptiness, but I am creative nothing, the nothing out of which I myself as creator create everything. Away then, with every concern that is not altogether my concern. You think at least the good cause must be my concern. What's good? What's bad? Why? I myself am my concern and I am neither good nor bad. Neither has meaning for me. The divine is God's concern, the human man's. My concern is neither the divine nor the human. Not the truth, good, just, free, etc. But solely what is mine. And it is not a general one, but is unique, as I am unique. Nothing is more to me than myself. <laughs> <laughs>